We're going to look at the 2021 AP Chemistry FRQ question number five. Now we can see that this is electrochemistry, but one thing we should notice is that this is not a battery. This is not electrochemical cell. So this is electrolysis going on. So this power source is causing these two chemical reactions to occur. Now something else we should notice over here on this side, here we have magnesium. And we have this reaction over here showing that magnesium is being formed. And so that is the reaction that's occurring over here, magnesium ions that are in the molten magnesium chloride are picking up two electrons and becoming magnesium metal. Now in the same way over here, here's chlorine being formed and here's chlorine being used up. So this reaction actually is happening in reverse. So the reaction is that two of the chloride ions in the molten magnesium chloride are turning into chlorine and in so doing giving up two electrons. So let's actually read the question. Molten magnesium chloride can be de decomposed into its elements if a sufficient voltage is applied using inert electrodes. The products of the reactions are liquid magnesium at the cathode. So this is the cathode. And that matches the fact that we decided that this is reduction because these are reduction half reactions and you can see that you know the gaining electrons is reduction and the uh, red cat. A simplified representation of the cell, I'm sorry, uh, liquid at the cathode and chlorine gas at the anode. So this side is the anode and this reduction has been turned around so this is oxidation. Oxidation always occurs at the anode. A simplified representation of the cell is shown above. The reduction half, cell, uh, half reactions related to the overall reaction in the cell are given in the table. So draw an arrow on the diagram to show the direction of the electron flow through the external circuit as the cell operates. Well on this side we can see that electrons are being given off. So as the chloride turns into chlorine, it loses electrons. So that means the electrons are going to leave the here and go into the power source. And in the same way, the magnesiums are picking up electrons. And so the electrons must be flowing toward the magnesium ions in order to turn into magnesium metal. So draw an arrow on the diagram shows the, the electron flows. So the electrons are going from the anode to the cathode. So that's part a and just drawing that arrow correctly from the anode to the cathode we've just earned one point. Now would an applied voltage of two volts be sufficient for the reaction to occur? So remember what's happening is that that battery is causing the reaction to occur so would two volts be enough? Support your claim with a calculation as part of your answer. So we're going to use these two values here or these two equations but we've changed one of the equations. We've changed the chlorine. So I'm going to uh, rewrite our magnesium here. So we said that magnesium 2 plus picks up two electrons and turns into magnesium neutral. And the E0 for this, and this is reduction, so this is our reduction potential, is equal to negative 2.37, and that's in volts. But the chlorine, we've turned this around. So now we have to reverse the reaction. So two chlorides turn into chlorine plus two electrons. And two other things are going to happen. We're going to change the label on this. This is not the reduction potential. This is now the oxidation. And we're changing the sign. Instead of positive 1.36, now the way we've written it, it's negative 1.36 volts. So the E of the cell is equal to the reduction potential plus the oxidation potential. So negative 2.37 volts plus negative 1.36 volts. That's going to be negative. 3.73 volts. 
So we can go back and answer the question now, and the answer is no. 2 volts is not sufficient. to cause this reaction. And by doing that, we've just earned one point. So one point for saying no, and one point for the, I mean, also in the justification, which includes our calculation. Now, part C, if the current in the cell is kept at a constant 5 amps, how many seconds does it take to produce 2 grams of magnesium liquid at the cathode. So if the current in the cell is kept at 5 amps, so what does 5 amps tell us? Okay, an amp is how many coulombs per second runs through the circuit. So 5 amps means that there are 5 coulombs per second. So we might need that equation, that little uh, conversion factor. So we're going to go back here and start over. So we have 2 grams of magnesium metal and we know if we have grams, then we can uh, uh, go ahead and change that to moles. So 24.30 grams of magnesium is one mole of magnesium. And because of the equation we have up here, we know that one mole of magnesium is going to require two moles of electrons. Now, moles of electrons and coulombs, we need to relate those two, and this is where the Faraday constant comes in. And Faraday uh, took two things, okay, chemistry, we talk about moles of electrons, so one mole of electrons, but in physics they talk about coulombs for electricity. And so he, Faraday is one that figured out that there are 96,485 coulombs is the same thing as one mole of electrons. Now, the last thing we need to do here is we have this, equa this little uh, expression that's going to help us go from 5 coulombs to 1 second. So grams of magnesium drop out, moles of magnesium drop out, moles of electrons drop out, coulombs drop out. So our answer is going to come out to be seconds. And I get a big number for this. I have 3176.46 seconds. But we're really only talking maybe three significant figures here. So I'm going to report this as 3180 seconds. So my answer here is 3180 seconds scoring. This is a two point problem. One point is just for getting to this point figuring out how many moles of electrons we're talking about. So in your work, if they see these three steps, you've earned that one point. And then the second point is for getting all the way to um, the seconds using the Faraday constant and the amps. So that's four-point problem, number five.